pounds and fifty dollars. Pre-order online at GoHogWild.com. Quantities are limited. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, thirty-two ten Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late. We close at eight. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Empower a child today with a teammate's mentoring program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the teammate's mentoring program today. Hi folks, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9,000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9,000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Couple. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with roof credit stock number G214773. Get rid of pest critters once and for all with bats to rats their expert team is here to help you reclaim your home no more sleepless nights caused by crawling critters or flapping wings bats to rats ensures a safe environment for every family member check the website at bats to rats.com for amazing offers and if you mention this ad you'll receive ten dollars off your initial inspection cost call bats to rats today at 402-781-8691 that's 402-781-8691 bats to rats are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Imagine a healthier, more active, physically fit version of yourself. If you've been putting off getting into shape, now is the time with the Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping 10-Week Challenge. Our program combines kickboxing, strength training, and nutrition coaching to help you achieve your fitness goals. And ticket listeners, you can get $150 off the enrollment fee. The next challenge begins on March 23rd. You can get all the info at fxblincoln.com. Don't wait any longer. Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping at 40th and Yankee Hill and 70th and Vine. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Green. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers. 
Raiders beat Miami in his history. 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lakers. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rapp. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green at the Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green. Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and The Ticket FM. Folks, it is Thursday. It is the beginning of March Madness. One of the best times of the year. People say Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. That may be true for holidays, but for sports, Rico, it is March Madness, man. We got Rico in the house. We got Amon is not going to be with us today. He's got to tra- um, uh, change the schedule up there in Boston where he's at a conference. So he'll be, he'll be back with us on Monday. We got Rafferty, the Rafferty, holding down in Austin, Texas. What up, Raff? Good morning. What's up, brother? Nothing much, man. How about the travels yesterday, man? Smooth. Very smooth. No, no flight, no flight problems. You said no fights? <laughs> no fight problems. Those either. <laughs> flight, flight, all good. No fights, no flights. Square up, dog. <laughs> Square up, dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe that was my seat there, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, did you, fly, did you, you didn't fly Southwest, did you, or did you fly Southwest? Yep, I returned back to Southwest yesterday. It was my first flight on Southwest since the exit road debacle back in about a month ago, but Southwest it was. You know, Raph, you said it was a, a debacle. Was it really a debacle or you just it was just one of those things? Yeah, it was a debacle. <laughs> but you pick your own seat. It wasn't a debacle. It's a debacle when you upgrade to A4 and you get in the plane and they had like 30 people going to the next spot and they took all the exit row seats and so you upgraded that's, for nothing. That, I mean, that's that's not their fault. That's a debacle. You got to upgrade the upgrade. <laughs> you got to get you got to get that AD status. You know what we call that's that? That's what you need. No, no, no. You know yeah. what we call that in Pittsburgh? You got got. <laughs> sorry about it. I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry that you're 25 feet tall. <laughs> there was there was talk that Southwest was reviewing the case and was going to maybe refund me my money, but I still haven't seen that money. So I, I think it's like that. Yeah. Me and Rico got a better chance of seeing Wilt Chamberlain walk down O Street right now than you get. <laughs> oh my gosh, Wilt! <laughs> from the dead. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is a true Ralph's roadie right there. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we got Rico holding it down for us today. Rico, what's happening, man? Oh, not much, man. I'm just just hanging out with you guys for a little bit before I. Uh... Get my chance to head on down to Buffalo Wings and Rings and join the guys as we're broadcasting live from uh, 68th and O Wings and Rings from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You know, it's going to be a blast. It's Me, a Nick, Jake's going to be there for a while. Strick will be there for a little mm-hmm. bit. Austin, DP, Jay. It's going to be great. Be a good time. It's going to be great. When you you going to come down and join us for a little bit? Uh, probably not. No, okay. no, no. I, I, probably, no. I definitely will. You got to fly out at some point, don't you? I definitely will. I don't fly out until Sunday morning early. Okay. But I will definitely, I'm, I'm going to tell you about this. I'm definitely going to, if, if not today, tomorrow for sure. I'm going to tell you why I'm flying out early Sunday morning. Why are you flying out early Sunday morning? 6.05 out of Omaha. That's gross. It's ridiculous. But you know why? Why? Mm-hmm. I got to, I, I, I'm just hoping and praying Nebraska wins both there teams. So I'm able to watch the games on Sunday and not be in the air. Because I'm flying to, Kentucky, uh, to Lexington, Kentucky. And it's for the uh, Kentucky P- uh, PGA, Professional Golf Association. State okay. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But forget that. That's on Monday. I was like, man, I do not want to be in the air if Nebraska takes care of business. So I'm purposely flying out early Sunday morning. We were in the air when Nebraska women were playing in the Big Ten tournament and, or in the championship game. Are you so we, serious? We got to, I think we got to see the first half in the airport in Houston, and then we had to get on the plane. What airline were you flying? Uh, United and United's TVs don't work half the time. There so. weren't any TVs on this one. Yeah. It was a smaller plane. 
was <laughs> very sad. You know, it's and that was a heck of a game too, man. I know. Well, we saw the first half and we're like, "Oh, they've got we this. Good. Yeah, we this good. is gonna be great." And then we land, and my phone shows me the update. And I go, "What happened? What, what happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It was it was so promising you know, I was the like, first? I was like, ah, dang it, Caitlin Clark showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn her for being so good." <laughs> You know, uh, Raph, I'm trying to pull up some things on the text line because it's kind of funny what's what being said. Well, As, I read one. Oh, did you read one? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Ron, what's up, man? Hey, hey, Ron says they put Raph by the emergency door so when it flies off, his body will plug the hole. <laughs> See? That's I'm the good with That's the I'm, sound of music. Hey, make that sound again. <laughs> I'm good with that. If that's, if that, I will more, I will sit by the exit door forever i will i will take that for the team oh wait a minute big ty good morning this would have been tough big ty this would have been rough man he goes rav if i feel your pain always have to upgrade because i'm six nine got on a plane one time and a four five lady took the exit row seat with no chair in front yeah what would you do in that situation rav uh usually i my my eyes and my face usually tell the story like yesterday I was there and there was 15, 20 extra seats on the plane and the last person got in and there was a seat, a middle seat in front of me and they decided to sit next to me. I was just like, can you see that I, I enjoy my one and a half seats, but oh well, that's life. And they sit right next to you? Right next to me. Do they have other options? Oh yeah, the, the stewardess um, apologized to me after after the flight got finished, but thankfully it was only like that. 35 minute flight from Dallas to Austin. So it was quick. Yeah, but yeah that's a quick one. But still, like, all those seats, why would you do that to yourself? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, what is Somebody going just, on right now? They just wanted to be friends with you, Raph. Like, why are you, <laughs> why are you being so mean? Why are you taking it so, but they just wanted to be friends with you. There were no words exchanged. <laughs> they were waiting for you to make the first move. Come on, man. <laughs> be open. Be an open book. I'm not, I'm not, an, I'm not an open book on the plane. <laughs> be friendly, Raph. <laughs> Thunder Knight Collins, there. good morning. He says, Raph I do not support like the Shrek. message from A.A. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I support it. As long as I get an exit roll seat, I'll do anything. I mean, if they need me to wear a parachute or something, I will do that, too. I'm not afraid. Well, you guys, will it be a March Madness? Raph, first of all, glad you got there uh, safely, uh, safely there in Austin. Um, corporate productivity... What what is the amount of money you think they they lose on th- on during March Madness? Just just post. I'm just doing some research. Shot in the dark, you guys. I I feel like I'm gonna throw a number out there and you're gonna laugh at me because it's gonna be a ridiculous number. No, yet corporate productivity losses during the month of, of of March. Throw some numbers out there. Text line. Let us know what do you think that number in corporate productivity uh the the dollar amount they lose in productivity during March Madness. I six digits. I'm not gonna say nothing. You just got text line. I don't want to. I don't want to give a number. I don't want to. I don't want to. Raph, what do you think? Because you say you're not gonna judge me, but I know I'm, you will. No, I'm not gonna I'll, judge no, you. No, I'm gonna. Because say, I was blown away. Because no, I'm gonna Four. say, a number, and you're just gonna be like, you're gonna. It's gonna be that face. You're not gonna say anything, but you're gonna get that face. <laughs> I know you will. Four point two billion dollars. That's my guess. Four point okay. two billion. Well, I can't yep. be that ridiculous. Uh, I don't think it'll be ridiculous. Text line. What do you think? As we're going, oh, the OJ. Okay. Let's go five mil. No, for, for the entire country. Oh, the entire country. Yeah. Oh, you think I said the station? Or I thought you were doing like. Yes, yes. Five hundred thousand from the station. <laughs> DP's face hey, turns red. Four, Rebecca. Four point seven. Four point seven. What? B. Four point seven billion. Okay, as the numbers are coming in, I'm gonna read a few things Somebody here. Said Thirty billion. Okay, we got two billion, ten point one billion. Subpar hacker says five hundred million in loss of production. Unknown texture twenty five twenty two. What's happening? Says one billion. Hizzle Bear, what's up, Hizzy? Hizzy. That ain't hurt. Well, what's up, two Hizzy? bills? Hizzy to the bear says two billion. Big, Big Ty, Ty what's up? Big Ty, nine point three billion. Uh, Jesse from F- Milford, what's up, Jesse? One point seven million. The OJ CJ, what's up, man? We still got to do frisbee golf sometime, man. Thirty billion. These seem like ridiculous numbers. Stan, what up, Stan? Hundreds of millions. Mm. Let's see. You know what that number is, y'all? What is it? According to CNBC, $6.3 billion. Oh, man, I was so close. Two, $6.3 billion. 
because a whooping close to 70 to 100 million brackets will be completed. That was his last year's numbers. Um, about 10.5 wagered, 10.5 billion that was wagered. Um, um, yeah. And then this, this would this would Warren Buffett did in 2023, 2022. Uh, a longtime basketball fan single handedly offered Berkshire Hathaway employees a one million a year for life to anyone who guessed which team make it to the NCAA men's basketball tournament, Sweet 16. One million a year for life. If is they what, got the Sweet 16, if they perfect. Guess, if they guess which teams make it to the NCAA men's basketball teams tournament, Sweet 16. Because he was doing before that, and it was only for Berkshire Hathaway employees. If you had a perfect bracket, it'd be the one million for life. But I guess he realized that that's never going to happen. Yeah. And he's like, I want to help somebody. So he's like, okay, Sweet 16. It, it's it, it's crazy. I wish I would have worked for Berkshire Hathaway like three years ago because I got the Sweet 16 right. <laughs> nice beef yeah. or something like that in there. I'm like, hey, we both from Omaha. Come on. It's It says that out, out of this, it, they did a, a report. 81% of uh, human resource professionals said their organizations don't have policies to police office pools. Employees are happy to leave well, uh, well enough alone. 90% of workers agreed March Madness was good for employee morale. According to Wallet Hub, uh, the December debts. And I think it is. You have the office pools. Because at first, they used, they used to really frown upon it about 20 years ago. It's like, mm. hey, be reproductive. They realize this is like trying to empty the ocean with a teaspoon. Good mm. luck with that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. Little by little. Little by little. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Folks, we got to our first break. We got a packed show for you this morning. Of course, we're going to talk about our brackets. We want to hear about who you, who some of your picks are as well. Also, learn about our new pre, well presidential candidate for the you know, you know University of Nebraska. Uh, some of his background. Uh, get your thoughts on that as well. But we got a packed show for today. Again, if you want to join the uh, the, the ninety three point seven the ticket bracket, go to our Twitter handle. You can fill out the bracket there. Be a part of the fun with all of us uh, here at the ticket and filling them out as well. Well, also there was something interesting that took place. At Pro Day yesterday for the University of Nebraska football team. We'll discuss that when we come back, folks. It's the drive, 93.7 a ticket. We'll be right back. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through March 24th, enjoy Lincoln's favorite 8-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin or 4-ounce fresh salmon portions for $3.99 each. Get ahead for your Easter dinner with Fairway Pit Hams, fresh lamb roast, or ribeye roast. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. What do you think of when you hear the chocolate season? Artisan chocolates? Of course, they have the best chocolates this side of the Atlantic. Friendly neighborhood coffee shop? Yup, they're that too. A nationally recognized top tier brunch spot. Waffle weekends, baby. And the place to grab a gift for literally any occasion? Everybody loves chocolate. See for yourself at the chocolate season, 40th and Old Cheney, or order ahead online at thechocolateseason.com. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it and stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. 
It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and 0. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place to. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in pick out a new Honda and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our customer service experience award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite, and we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a few flurries possible this morning. Otherwise, mainly cloudy and breezy today with an afternoon high around 56. Tonight, a chance of showers. Otherwise, mainly cloudy with a low around 39. And tomorrow, decreasing clouds will be breezy too. The high around 52. I mean, you're all just Kyle Buck, 93.7 The Ticket, and the ticketfm.com. If you're looking for a pre-owned tractor to upgrade your operation this year, you'll find a wide selection at your local Landmark Implement. We'll work with you to find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. During the month of March, choose from a six-month interest waiver or 4.5% fixed rate for up to 60 months on used 6M and R, 7R, 8R, or 9R tractors with approved credit. Visit LandmarkM.com to see our complete inventory or stop by your local Landmark location today and experience the Landmark difference. Alcohol has strained our relationship. Drinking too much can cause harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. By drinking less, we will save our relationship. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 20 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. It is March Madness. It is Thursday morning. And folks, if you haven't that bracket filled out, you have about... For what, 45 minutes left? 9.15? Figure it out. 45? No, I think you have to 
Eleven fifteen. Is that, is that Easter time though? Uh, Central time, I think. Because the first game is at. The first game is at eleven fifteen a.m. On here is what it says. I'm yeah. guessing that that's Central. Yeah, so, it is. So It'll be get twelve those, fifteen. Yeah, Easter. get those brackets out. Raph, you just messed it up. I'm trying to have a give him a sense of urgency here, man. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why I didn't want I didn't want people leaving the drive and trying to turn on the television. And we, we we lose our listeners. I mean, we, yeah, we need these watch, listeners. You, you can watch TV and listen, baby. Eleven Ooh. fifteen is the first game. Mississippi State a seed versus ninth seed Michigan State, which we'll discuss that a lot uh, after our guest. We have a nine o'clock, a short guest at nine o'clock, uh, a radio friend that will discuss some things with us as well. But you guys, you know, I'm gonna laugh so hard if Izzo is the first coach eliminated. Oh, I'm, not happening. I'm, I'm going to laugh. Like Izzo, man. I'm going to laugh not happening. so hard. Well, not okay. happening. I'm not going to say a lot right now because I'm going to discuss this later, but I hope it doesn't happen that way. Why? And I, and I, I just, Did I you just, see what Izzo said yesterday? What? If I can find it. What? Um, It was something along the lines of auto qualifiers from the smaller conferences and not liking that because Uh-oh. he said something about, I believe it was him, said something about, um, the now I don't want to speak out of turn, so it might not have been him, but there were two coaches. Uh, I know Patino was one of them that said that the auto qualifiers for the smaller conferences that, yeah, people have enjoyed the upsets, but as it goes along, you're going to realize that people don't like that, so they want more, um, uh, more qualifiers from the bigger conferences because that's what people want to see. They don't want to see these smaller conference teams, and I was like, whoo, that is. <laughs> You that know, is a take, is though. Yeah, or, I, I, or Patino. I'm not Nick Sainer would, would disagree. Or I know, I know, Izzo said I that. know Patino said it, and then another coach said it, and I think it was Izzo. So you I gotta think make or sure. You know, I, that's what I'm about okay. to check. I'm make sure. checking. Well, hey, real quick here, we got a, a new, a new uh, dial in her. New texter. It was 80, Izzo. 88. It was Izzo. It was Izzo. Yeah, I don't like that. Izzo. Izzo. Tom Izzo says <laughs> automatic bids for mid majors have quote. Got to be looked at seriously because while everybody likes the upsets in the first round, I'm not sure if that's true as it goes on. End quote. Also agrees with Rick Patino that more former coaches and players should be on selection committee. I do agree with that. that that's the reason why Roger Craig is not the doggone uh, Hall of Fame because you got too many guys in the media who have you know personal vendettas or have you know biases to where guys aren't in the Hall of Fame that should be. But for this one, I do like the fact that. Former players and coaches are on little selection committees. Yes, but for this one, for this selection committee, in terms of selecting for the NCAA tournament, I think what Patino is saying that he wants more former players and coaches from the bigger schools so that, you know, if a, you know, Indiana, for instance, this mm-hmm. year, you'll have a former player or a coach from Indiana that's like, well, I mean, look at who Indiana had to play as opposed to, you know, well, long, they, I long see what you're saying. even though they win their conference tournament, it's like, yeah, but do you really want this team in there? So you're saying that could bring some biases because they are from Ex- bigger schools. Exactly. I get you. Now, if they do a mix with that, I'd have no problem. Yeah. Well, I have no problem with it. And I think you should have a mix with yeah. it. So you eliminate some of the bias that could be there. Exactly. Yeah. But based on what they're saying about yeah. the whole you don't want the smaller schools yeah, that's, in there, that, as it like goes on, take, I don't think that they yeah. want the mix. I don't like that take. Has anybody <laughs> seen Nick today? Does he have his Longwood Bedazzled t-shirt on? It might be under his ticket shirt. Okay. It might be. Hey, real quick, uh, uh, texture 8885 uh, from Wyoming. Good morning to you, my man. Or Bob. Actually, Bob. What's up, Bob? Yeah, you've, you've called a dollar before. I hope you're doing well. I hope there's not too cold in Wyoming. He goes, good morning, guys. Could you guys share your thoughts about on, on the new AD? And were you guys surprised the hire was real quick? Bob from beautiful Wyoming. You all should come up here sometime and spend some time here. Great fishing and beautiful scenery. Bob, I was just in Wyoming back in August. And I was in, was it Casper? I was either in Casper or where the University of Wyoming is at, which I don't think is in Casper. Laramie. Laramie. I was in Laramie. I was in Laramie. Shout out to yeah, Cluster I was Johnson in Laramie. Jr. In fact, I remember Laramie. Finnis like, Dembo. Yeah, Finnis Dembo, absolutely. Little C.J. Johnson, Cluster Johnson Jr. C.J. J. as well. As we call also, him in high school. Also, quarterback for uh, Buffalo. Josh there. Allen. Josh Allen Josh was at Allen. Wyoming shout as well. Na- shout out to Nate Gary. Whenever you shout out Nate Josh Allen, you got to shout out Nate Gary for handing the Craig Bowl, retired football coach. Yes, a lot of people up there. Brother, I tell you what, uh, Bob. Yeah, I, I do love Wyoming, man. Uh, I, I unfortunately made a recruiting trip up there in December, and I said, yeah, I'm not coming here. <laughs> <laughs> 
That hawk off the Why mountains. It I was here? cold, <laughs> but beautiful campus, Bob. Beautiful state, first of all. Bob, I, 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 could, I think all of us could chime in quickly on this. I was surprised by the expediency of uh, them bringing in the AD as quick as they did. Uh, to me, I, I just feel like this, you got to give the guy a chance. You know, uh, if there's anything um, that I do look back at with a little bit of somewhat of caution is the fact that he was was at only at Washington for only six uh, for six months. Somewhat, some of the, the, the some of the um, comfort I have with that. His family is in Iowa. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not sure if this would happen in another place where it would took him maybe to the east, to the East Coast, and he's in the same situation. Um, being being so close to home, I know that can bring some result. They're like, hey, you know what? Families only a few hours away compared to the Pacific Northwest. Heck, I'm going where he's living at for the next few, well, I guess for the next few days. I mean, also on Sunday, also that $1 million signing bonus, but yeah, uh, yeah definitely family. Uh, yeah. 1 million helps. And it's like, if you have a, if you don't have one, you can just make a family with one more million dollars. Yeah, exactly. You know, so oh. Bob, that's my kind of my take on it. Yeah, to me, it's a wait and see. I do like the fact that he's been on a number of uh, planning committees, um, um, rules committees, uh, what he did at Tulane, a school of only 5,000 people to build a new stadium with only 5,000 students. That's impressive. Is pretty impressive. So his, I'll, I'll say this, uh, his uh, body of work and the receipts that he has are impressive. Uh, but what, what works someplace doesn't always work every place. But I sure as heck up what helps here, we need stability. So I have no problems with the hire uh, whatsoever. I was uh, more glad to see them get a president intact, too, as well. Potentially. Both of them. Yeah. I was yeah. yeah, well, thirty days. You know, yeah. got to go through the thirty-day Whatever, part. The whole thing. So that's what. So Bob, to answer your question, that's my thoughts on it. Rico, Raph, what were your guys' thoughts on it before we dive in? I'll let Raph go. Well, I was a little upset because I was hoping that maybe the Davis family would have a skybox for the season, but oh well, <laughs> I've let that I've let that dream go. So, <laughs> you know what? Go ahead, Raph. Go ahead. No, I, I I I'm good with the hire. You know, long as they did, you know, all their due diligence. I guess the one thing that maybe maybe like would rise up for me was you hired a new AD in six days, but it took you you know it took eight months to hire a new president. Just 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 as long as that due diligence. And like I said from the get go, I wanted there to be some sort of connection with Coach Rule because at the end of the day, Coach Rule is I, I don't want to say he's the one pulling the strings in the state, but football is what runs this state for the most part. And knowing that, you know, coach rule gave him the thumbs up and that they've had some professional interaction. I, I, I loved hearing that part. So I, I'm good with it. And I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, what he does for the university. You know, Raph, as much as, um, uh, and I, I try to stay away from it. And, you know, I, we've mentioned it a few times, but with it being family now with, you know, Dennis LeBlanc uh, and my son and his daughter engaged, be married next year. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm. I would have loved for him to have whatever position he wanted, but I will say there is some relief <laughs> because you bring a whole lot of criticism in. When I mean, you live in a glass house at that point, man. You would have been in the public eye. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's. I'm gonna tell you something. It, it's, it's a difficult, very difficult situation he would have been in, and even what we do, you know, and what I do. I mean, you're, you're scrutinized a lot, a lot. I mean, for every mistake, everything you do. And I think that's why I try to give people a lot of grace because Lord knows I need, I've made my share of major mistakes, you know, and still pay the price for a lot of those, man. And I, I, I swear when it comes to bashing on people, I'm like, uh, might want to check your own path. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be careful. There's, there's one thing as far as giving the news oh, yeah. and giving opinions and how you feel. But when you go to the level to where it's person, you're making yep. it personal and just, uh, just venomous. I'm like, come on, man. Life's too short for that bull. Crap, you know what man. they would have done? They would have been like LeBlanc's daughter's father-in-law <laughs> only curling 20-pound weights. <laughs> oh, no. Is he a small little baby boy? <laughs> oh, no. Up next. Wow. On the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man, he's just, he's just a small little baby boy. That's what we would have done. John in Hope, Michigan. What's up with you, Johnny? goes, I will be rooting for Nebraska from my home in Hope, Michigan. My dad grew up in Waverly. It's right to the east of us. We are both big Husker fans. John, brother, go big red, big time up there in Michigan. 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 I love it. I love it. Uh, Father Doc Collins, I guess that means you're going to have to pay for the wedding venue now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so much for the 50 yard line. <laughs> <laughs> All my dreams have just been blown out of the water. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nebraska. Thanks oh, a lot. man. 
Y'all, yesterday, before we go to break, we got a quick what to think. Yesterday at Nebraska's Pro Day, very interesting situation, but I thought it was cool. A lot of times when the guys have quarterbacks that are throwing to them, they're quarterbacks that, that have played a lot last year or previous years, et cetera. That's why I wish we would have had AG, but I know he's got some business. We'll discuss it on Monday when he's back. Um, Raph, I know you did some throwing, too, uh, for some guys warming up during pro days. I believe it was pro days or spring ball or something of that nature. Yep. But it was interesting that Danny Kalen and Riola, Dot Little and Riola, mm -hmm. were the quarterbacks that were throwing and were very impressive. From what I understand, there are only about two balls and were deep ones that were a little bit off. That Eisman. Eisman. is impressive. Don't. Raph. Don't. Raph. Cut it. Don't. He'll be in New York City. Stop it. He'll be in New York City in December. Raph, New York for vacation. But. Yeah, Raph. You, I need, I, I need you to not be so positive because the last time you were very positive about something, the Broncos traded Russell Wilson away and had two bad seasons. <laughs> With a hey, with a parting check of thirty eight million. Exactly. I need you. <laughs> look, this out, is, no, it no, worked no, no, out no, well no, for him. No, no, Raph. I don't. Well, okay. Well, if you keep saying that, it'll work out well for Dylan Riola somewhere else. Don't do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Let me get back to the story. Riola, who is in Lincoln, Nebraska, yeah, along with Danny Kalen, uh, were doing the throws yesterday uh, to the pro day, and there was there was a lot of um, a lot of praise too. A lot, a lot of crisp balls that were thrown. They said they were where they were supposed to be. You guys, let me ask you this. Here's we, we, We've heard a lot about Raiola, and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. How cool is that for Kalen, though? It's kind of the guy that it kind of, he's not for, but kind of gets forgotten. He kind of got he forgotten. Does. He does. He got gets forgotten. forgotten. I thought that was huge for him. Also, think about this. Kalen threw in front of 30, 30 franchises represented yesterday, mm -hmm. not counting the media. 30 different franchises are seeing this young. Now, he's been to seven-on-seven seven camps and things like that. Even right as far as that goes. They've, they've all mm -hmm. heard of him because of all the hype, et cetera. That's two Elite 11 quarterbacks. Exactly. Yeah. For Kalen Raff, I'm going to ask you this. You being a former QB, how cool do you think that was? Obviously, for Iola, but how cool do you think that was for Danny Kalen? Oh, I'm just the experience of it, just being in front. Because the thing about these scouts is they're, they are there watching – the players but if they see anything off to the side or anything like that like if mm -hmm. they see an old nebraska i don't say old nebraska player but say a player from two years ago and they see something that sticks out in their mind they they make contact with them um kaylin i guarantee you kaylin rayola those scouts took notes on them yesterday and they, they put on they i'm sure they got them in their files and they'll be there they, they are there like i remember like um, when Brooke Beringer was getting ready, ready for the NFL draft and I was catching balls for him and I, I would catch them and throw back. And the scout was coming up to me and going, Hey, I really liked your arm. You know, what's your name? You know, what are you here for? And I regret it to this day saying, Oh, I know I'm here for Brooke today, but it's, mm -hmm. it's cra But it's crazy like that, that, you know, that, that those scouts, they have, their, they have their eyes and ears. They're, they're listening to anything and everything. So that's a, it was a great experience for them, but also they've got notes now, you know, in that NFL system. So it's it's it was pr pretty cool for the both of them. You know, Raph, when you when you share that story too, and we laugh and joke a lot and things like that, but Raph could sling that ball. I mean, he could throw the ball. And you go back to what you, you go back to your what twenty year old self, twenty one year old self, like, geez, what the heck was I thinking? I should have said, yeah, Chris <laughs> Raph, six seven, two sixty five. <laughs> we can work some things out. I can come into a practice. But you, just, but you don't know you don't know at the time either, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You and back know. then, I was like 6'5", six, 6'5", five, six, five, 225. So, and throwing the ball about, well, 85, 90 yards probably. No, yeah. you were you were perfect quarterback side. Then you grew too much, and then they would have been like, this yeah. guy's not a quarterback anymore. Now, <laughs> now he's a tackle. It was, it, was the, it, was, it was the Red Bull Vodkas. There. <laughs> You imagine they're like like quarterback for like three years, and they're like, actually, we need to move you onto the offensive line now. We know you know the playbook, so it's fine. But now you got to block. I'm sorry. Hey, I did oh. play quarterback at six seven two eighty five though. I did do that. <laughs> Gus Mohawk, what's up, my man? Gus says, "Good morning, fellas." Obviously, Huskers are number one. But what are your guys' second favorite college team? Mine is LSU. Gotta love that hot Southern hospitality. Gus Mohawk, good morning, team man. Appreciate you. Um, you know, I don't know who my number one team, team would be, man. If you're talking basketball. Hmm. I have it for my sports. Who's your number two in basketball? In basketball, Syracuse. 
Actually, Syracuse, Syracuse, I can see that. Syracuse is number one, and Nebraska is number two. I'm just going to be honest. You know, I, but you know, when you were growing up, because uh, I'm me and Rav before your time, when I yeah. was growing up at, you know, Derek Coleman. Um, Syracuse. Derek, you know, Derek Coleman. Who was the, quarter, uh, the quarterback? The, uh, the point guard, Rav. For Sherman Syracuse. Douglas. Sherman Douglas. Sherman Douglas. Um, um, I, I love had, Syracuse. I had Carmelo uh, Anthony when I was in third Carmelo, grade. Carmelo, so, yep. So that he was, was horrible. No, yeah, yeah terrible. I, I, I love Jimmy Boeheim during those days. I love. Well, first of all, I was a Big East guy. Because mm-hmm. oh, when me dude. and Raph were growing up, you would have Big East Saturdays to where it'd be Georgetown, Villanova, St. John's. Big Monday. Uh, big Mo- Big Monday, that's right. Yeah. Big Monday. I didn't get the 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 hype, like the the prime Big East, but yeah. I got the tail end of the Big East. Right. Uh, where it was still still really competitive, still really tough, but it wasn't anything like it like it used to be in the, yeah. in the 90s and the late 80s. All the, so, the structure, yeah. the power structure I had the, I had the early up. 2000s Big East, which was still fun. I, I still remember to this day sitting in my uh, grandma's like guest room watching Syracuse UConn go to 6-7 overtimes. Mm, mm, mm. Fantastic. Sanderson, good morning. Sanderson, yes, Ronnie Cycli. Remember yeah, Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie. <laughs> Played for the Heat for a number of years, mm. man. They had, there, was, there, was some, there was some talent. Um, and what was the point guard? He never did a lot in the pros. That point guard from UConn about 15 years ago. Sh- uh, 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 Sh- not Sharif. Um, mm. Oh, it'll hit me. It'll hit me. It'll hit me. And I'm not, and I'm not thinking. We'll uh, figure it out. We'll point. figure it out. We'll figure it out. I cannot. Text line, help me out. The point guard that played at UConn, short guy, about 5'11", 6 foot, maybe about 10 to 15 years ago. Didn't make it. Didn't do much of the pros. Kind of a stout little dude. Wasn't chubby, just stout, but he was a baller. And I yeah. cannot think of his name. Shabazz Napier. There we go. Oh, uh, no, Shabazz Napier. No, so, yeah, and, uh, uh, and Sebastian Telfar, both of those guys. Thanks, fellas. I appreciate hey, Sebastian it. Sebastian Telfar was a baller. Jake, thanks. Big yeah, Sebastian Telfar was what I was thinking of. Folks, when we come back, we got a bit of history. We'll go quickly with them. We got a guest for a few minutes uh, as well. And then we'll hop into the March, uh, the Matt March Madness and kind of share our picks here with yours are. Also, more Nebraska news as well. And get your insights on the new president. President at president, I'll say this, nominated. You know, the kind of one that's up there right now. We'll see what happens in 30 days. (laughs) We'll be back, folks. On this Thursday, we got me and Rico here at the mothership. We got Rav holding down in Longhorn Country in the heart of Texas. And Austin, we'll be right back. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping to meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending, we're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Bread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fear's Cheese Bread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. What do you think of when you hear the chocolate season? Artisan chocolates? Of course. They have the best chocolates this side of the Atlantic. Friendly neighborhood coffee shop? Yup, they're that too. A nationally recognized top-tier brunch spot. Waffle weekends, baby. And the place to grab a gift for literally any occasion? Everybody loves chocolate. 
See for yourself at The Chocolate Season, 40th and Old Genie, or order ahead online at thechocolateseason.com. Stop by TCA Outdoor Power on March 22nd and 23rd for an open house and customer appreciation celebration. TCA Outdoor Power is a locally owned business located at 6210 South 57th Street and prides itself on being Lincoln's only elite steel dealership for over 20 years. On March 22nd and 23rd, enjoy 10% off select steel products and up to $350 off on select battery tools. Also, if you buy two steel batteries, you can double your limited warranty. Give TCA Outdoor Power a call today at 402-420-9424 or visit them for their open house celebration, March 22nd and 23rd. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Hey, it's Chad with the Nutrition Authority inviting you to stop in and check out the all-new complete post-workout recovery, CPR. CPR is ideal for anyone who works out or competes and wants to maximize results. CPR can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Stop in today and try a free sample or visit us at MyNutritionAuthority.com. 93.7 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a few flurries possible this morning. Otherwise, mainly cloudy and breezy today with an afternoon high around 56. Tonight, a chance of showers. Otherwise, mainly cloudy with a low around 39. And tomorrow, decreasing clouds will be breezy too. With a high around 52. I mean, you're all just Kyle Puck, 93.7 The Ticket, and the ticketfm.com. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up simple. Two questions for you, two for sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up simple. Weekday mornings at 7.30 brought to you by Bagels and Joe. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Folks, we are back on this Thursday, the beginning of the greatest time, the most wonderful time of the sporting year, in my humble opinion. It is March Madness. Again, I'm going to re- let you know, Folks, we have March Mayhem with the ticket live from Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and 0, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You might want to start heading your way down there in the next 35, 40 minutes or so. Watch all the games with us. The first 64 people through the door will get a, a ping pong ball with the name of a team with a beautiful handwriting that Nick's, <laughs> Nick put on there. If your 10 is up winning the final four, you'll win prizes like Wings and Rings gift cards and more. We're giving away prizes at the top of every hour, starting from 12 to 5 p.m. both days, today and tomorrow. No purchase necessary. Anyone who stops by will get a raffle ticket. Whenever you sit down, prize like appetizers, beer buckets, beer pitchers, and Coors Light backpack uh, cooler, Budweiser alumni cap, aluminum cap, not alumni cap. You're not an alumni of Budweiser, but uh, you may be. I am. Raph says I am. (laughs) Budweiser aluminum caps. (laughs) Alumni. Dr. Pepper Prize. I'm retired. I'm retired. 93 7, the ticket prize packs and more. First game starts, folks, at 11 15. That's Michigan State and Mississippi State with more games throughout the entire late morning, afternoon, and evening. Great food, beer, prizes, and sports talk. Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and 0 here in the capital city. Check it out. Ralph, what do you got for some mystery? I got some too, but go ahead, my man. 
All right. Well, before that, I got to let everyone know the first hour was sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of new openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the Global Headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. Today, my history, 1984, the NFL comes out with the anti-celebration rule. So mm. all the fun of the NFL was sucked out of the game for, man, probably about 10 to 12 years. Yeah, it was. There was no more fun bunch. There was, oh, man, sad, sad Dude. day. Remember when Art Monk and those guys from Washington, the Redskins? Yep, fun bunch. The fun bunch would do their deal, man. And as a kid, man, we'd be in the backyard doing the same thing. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. <laughs> it Butch, was gone. Butch, did you ever see Butch Johnson when he played for the Cowboys? And he'd, he'd celebrate. He'd do like the like the Billy White Shoes Johnson. Oh, Billy White Shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those and were the days, man. There were some good celebrations, too, back in the – the, the, the 80s, unfortunately, missed out on some great celebrations. And then the late 80s, they just said, screw it. And then the early 90s, you had the Icky Johnson, which was a, a crazy-looking dance. Icky Woods. Icky, Icky, Woods. Icky Johnson. Icky Woods was doing his thing, man. <laughs> he was doing his thing. Well, uh, in 1959, the 21st NCAA Men's Basketball sec, – 21st NCAA uh, Men's Basketball Championship, California beats West Virginia 71-70. And West Virginia future Hall of Famer and point guard also for the Lakers – would that be raf oh i wasn't even listening sorry i was reading the text message i'm gonna go with um <laughs> koozie. i'm gonna go with koozie bob Coos no that's Celtics. bob koozie I'm go with- play for the lakers and it was probably before jerry west and on jerry west no, it was know. jerry west oh it was jerry west sorry it was jerry west the logo the logo, <laughs> the logo. <laughs> check this out y'all check this out this is interesting here i want you guys to just take a guess on this 1961 art modell there goes Jack Aroo down O Street. What's up, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> 1961 Art Modell purchased the Cleveland Browns for then a record sum of $10. <laughs> <laughs> I got five on Exactly. It. <laughs> How much do you think he purchased before, Ralph? When was it? In 1961, Art Modell purchased the Cleveland Browns for then a record sum 61. of. Think about this for a second. It's crazy. Art Modell. Art Modell bought the Browns, but John Elway owns them. <laughs> oh my god. Can you not? Can you just can you not? Like for oh one for like one my second. <laughs> gosh. I thought he was gonna say something like really cool. Yeah, I thought he was gonna I thought that I was had, really that was really had, cool. Like, fun fact about the no, Browns. That is called history, like the epitome of history. Yeah. It's done. He's done. Your Broncos are done. It's not even a top five quarterback of all time, Jesus. <laughs> Well, Rico, you can leave now. Next. Am actually, I, I mean, we, actually, we can't have Rico yeah. leave because I have no idea what have I'm doing around. Have fun Me trying to run that board be like, your Denver Broncos trying to manage their roster. <laughs> like the Denver Broncos is trying to win a game. Okay, but I, I will tell you this. I will tell you this about the Broncos. I will tell you this about the Broncos. No, oh, please don't. They've I, now had two players that have went to other teams and later that day, decided to re-sign with the Broncos. So I don't know if Sean Payton's like going and like saying, "Hey, can't do it," or what's happening there. But it's very, it's very interesting. Yeah. It's happened twice. It's Sean, so it's- that's Sean Payton saying, "We can't win without you, please." The rest of the roster sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least uh, at least one positive can- <laughs> has, has, has came out of this off season. When Russell Wilson posted the cheesy workout videos, now I can say there's your Steelers quarterback. It's well, going to be really funny when he makes the playoffs. He's I'm not. Gonna, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this. We'll wait and see. That's all I'm going to say. That's Don't it. know. Um, I but I do want to say, see, what was the price of the, what was the, yeah. price of the Cleveland Broncos? I, I'm play the Cleveland Broncos. Yeah, the Cleveland Broncos. <laughs> Broncos. Cleveland Browns. This is hard because I'm the what last the time I said a number, everybody laughed at me because it was like, oh, my gosh, that's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Troy Lincoln says AD. That was a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a tough one. <laughs> and Feather Not Collins says Hellway is a Chiefs then, fan. <laughs> then record. Jeez. Wasn't six. It was six digits. What do you think it was? What price did Art Modell purchase the Cleveland Brown for in 1961? He's buying a team. Like, it has to be a lot of money. He bought a team. I'm just going to go 500000 I know that's, okay. that's terrible. That's a terrible number. I would have number. known, Rico. Rap, what's your, what's your estimate? It's a terrible number. No, I'll go with 
in the 60s. It feels like that's 61. a decent I got two point, two 2.35 million. 2.35 million. It was 3.925. 3,925,000. Art Modell purchased the Cleveland I guess Browns. The Browns were actually good. 1961. Back then. What's that jacket? Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I want that. I want that jacket. I guess the Browns were actually good back then. So it would have been more expensive. Because you think about that shortly after, which was a very new franchise at the time, you had Jim Brown. Mm-hmm. You had, if, if, fo- fo- uh, folks, a movie, if you've not watched it yet, it's been out for a while. You need to watch it. It's called The Express. Ernie Davis. Ernie Davis. And he didn't, he buried, and in fact, he didn't, I think he only play, had practiced with the Cleveland Browns and had a yeah. few games before he was diagnosed. Right? Was it leukemia? I believe it was. I know I know they retired his jersey and never yeah, it was played. Leukemia, but you need to watch that movie, Rico. Yeah, that's a good I'd one. encourage you all to watch it. It's called uh, The Express, and it's about Ernie Davis. True story. And uh, the things he went through mm-hmm. was yeah. just insane. But, Speaking uh, of Syracuse, talking about diebacks back then, Jim Brown, Ernie Davis, Floyd Little, they Floyd lower Little. the dieback. Yes, yes, that's a it's a great movie though, great movie. It's called The Express, and um, he was uh, an amazing running back, just an amazing person for what it seemed like, man. But a great movie, great movie. Folks, we're gonna take a quick break. We come back. Ooh, I got one birthday. Ed. Oh yeah, go ahead, brother. Speaking of running backs, thirty nine years old today, Adrian Peterson. And he still wants to play. Yep. He still wants to play. Scaper is en route to Memphis. What's up, brother? He goes with my little man, Jackson. Left at 2 a.m. ETA oh. at noon. Uh. Go Big Red. Thanks, guys. Love the show. Scaper, man, we love you. Appreciate you. You and little man go make some memories. Have a great time. Drive safely, man. Keep us posted when you get there. Text us in tomorrow. In fact, call us tomorrow if you can. Send us a picture of some barbecue. Oh, yes. And, and then and, bring and, some back. And Scaper, stay away from the hood. <laughs> You're going to break. Stay away from the hood. We'll be right back. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full time roles offer a four and a half day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Tanner's Bar & Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar & Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry. The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. 
Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 and Orchard and across Nebraska. If you're looking for a pre-owned tractor to upgrade your operation this year, you'll find a wide selection at your local Landmark Implement. We'll work with you to find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. During the month of March, choose from a six-month interest waiver or 4.5% fixed rate for up to 60 months on used 6M and R, 7R, 8R, or 9R tractors with approved credit. Visit LandmarkM.com to see our complete inventory or stop by your local Landmark location today and experience the Landmark difference. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Imagine a healthier, more active, physically fit version of yourself. If you've been putting off getting into shape, now is the time with the Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping 10-Week Challenge. Our program combines kickboxing, strength training, and nutrition coaching to help you achieve your fitness goals. And ticket listeners, you can get $150 off the enrollment fee. The next challenge begins on March 23rd. You can get all the info at fxblincoln.com. Don't wait any longer. Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping at 40th in Yankee Hill and 70th in Vine. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up, Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up, Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history. 13-0. and And bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Oh, folks, we're back. It's the drive on Thursday, March Madness. Again, I'm going to announce, folks, if you are not at uh, Buffalo Wings and Rings, and if you're able to get down there, get to Buffalo Wings and Rings because at 10 a.m., the doors are going to open up. Folks, first of all, we got one of our uh, radio friends that comes with us uh, a couple times a year, particularly this time of year, uh, Problem Gambling Awareness Month. We got Mike uh, Siandras with us. Mike, good morning, brother. Good morning. How are you? Doing great, man. You're my ball buddy. I got, you know, we're both bald. <laughs> Beautiful man, and if you can't see it, because you know if you're not if you're watching it, you know I'm you know I'm I'm the cue ball, I'm the eight ball, and you're the cue ball. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm the one that's knocking everything down. I'll tell you what, <laughs> you can't you can't play without not me without the cue ball, man. Well, the game can't end without the brother being knocked in last. That's true. 
<laughs> we both play integral parts in the game. That's, that's right, for baby. sure. That's right. That's right. And from the movie of, um, oh, what movie was that? Uh, I'll think about it later with Eddie Murphy in the, in the, the green the green pool table. The earth represents the earth. <laughs> <laughs> the different, different color balls is the diversity of the earth. <laughs> Boomerang. That was in that movie, Boomerang. Mm. Well, since uh, Rico actually has some hair on him, too, he can be the felt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Look at little Rico. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait. Oh, dude, seriously, man, it's good Better to have you here, brother. Bald heads. All these bald heads <laughs> in here. It is good to have you here, Mike, uh, as always, man. Mike is the Education Outreach Coordinator at Choices Treatment Center here uh, in Lincoln. Lincoln, and they also have a Columbus campus office as well. Mike, this is a crazy month for you. Yes, it is. It is Problem Gambling Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the, there's a lot of reasons behind that. For, first and foremost, the thing that starts today, or is it technically started Tuesday, the uh, NCAA basketball tournaments uh, has something to do with that. But I mean, if you think about it, you're coming off of the holidays, which are a tough time for people emotionally and financially. Mm -hmm. You go straight into the NFL playoffs, you go straight mm -hmm. into the Super Bowl, head straight into March Madness from there. Plus, when you consider people are getting their income tax back this time of year and different things like that, the financial situation looks a little different. So, so gambling tends to become top of mind for a lot of people. So therefore, March is a very important time to start focusing on that and focusing on the people who need some help. You know, I'm, I'm reading some of these numbers you brought to us. Um, this year's Super Bowl, you said it was the largest betting of all time. Oh, yeah. It was It was up every year since 2018 when things became legalized and pretty much 38 states now are legalized gambling, uh, sports betting. And every year since 2018, those numbers have went up 40%, 50%, 100% year over year over year. And just the billions upon billions of dollars that are spent every year just on the Super Bowl alone. But then once you get into, then you have several week long events like the NCAA basketball tournaments, then those numbers just get multiplied that much more. And you still have people that are chasing from the Super Bowl that are going to be chasing over this entire tournament as well. You know, with all the numbers that are out there, you look at um, becoming legal in 38 states. You look at um, the different fan sites that are available, apps, yeah. fan, duel, et cetera. Is, do you think one of the reasons why it's increased is because of the increase of availability of people to gamble the different platforms from the gamble? I absolutely think that that has something to do with it. I also think that just the normality of it in general, just the normalcy of having it. I mean, you can't watch a sporting event without talking about the line, without hearing about the betting odds, about all these different things. You can't watch without seeing all of the ads on for your all the different betting or the sports books. You just cannot get away from it. You can't go to your gas station anymore without seeing lottery tickets or skill touch machines or anything like that. It's just become so normal mm -hmm. and that's what we tell our clients is that you're not going to get away from it mm -hmm. so what are we going to do to make it a part of your life where it's not going to be a hindrance where you can avoid it if you need to or you can regulate it if you want to but you we're not going to get away from it at this point so we need to learn how to control that behavior mm -hmm. what about i'm gonna ask you this um, uh, again your partners with us are athletic uh, uh you're an athletic partner with them yeah. what does what does that mean so, I mean, we do, the way we look at it, everything we do, we want to do in partnership. We just want to seat at the table with everybody. So whether we're working with the casinos, we work with casino operators, we want to make sure that we have good relationships with them. Mm -hmm. We work with the university. We do a lot of work with them as far as education. I work with 12 different colleges currently around the area. Um, I just want to make sure that people, no matter where they're at, no matter if they're in the casinos, whether they're on the sports books, whether on mobile, or whether they're at the gas station, all flyer gas stations, you know, whatever it takes just to get the word out there to people in all ages. I mean, one of my responsibilities is working with youth and trying to get that education to youth. So I work with a lot of high schools and colleges, mm -hmm. but all ages need the same thing. I work with aging partners. So I work with all, ever, all different ages, work with faith groups, work with uh, nonprofit organizations, just the, just having a seat at the table. That's all I want. 90% of people can gamble, uh, without any problems within limits, within res responsibly. And we're 100% neutral on the stance of gambling. We just want to make sure that the people who need the assistance are able to get that assistance for free in the state of Nebraska. Jevin, I was going to ask you, I, I know if you, I, 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 you're going, you're going, I'll leave you out. 
also, Mike, tell them why this is important to you, though. Because every time that you come in, um, some people don't know what we're listening to the time that you could. You first came on our show was when we were at the old studio. Yeah. Was it almost two years ago now? Yeah, it's probably been two years. It's been now. a while. And you've been here before. I know I, I missed the last time you were here, but also, why is it important to you? Tell us about your story. So I am a problem gambler in recovery myself. I've been bet free since December 15th of 2020. So three and a half years now, I've been bet free. And after going through treatment at Choices for a year, I was fortunate enough to get into this position. And I've always been in a role in my life where I've been either in sales or marketing or some sort of relationship building. So this was a perfect fit for me. Plus, it keeps me connected with my recovery as well, too. Mm -hmm. I started, I come from a family of gamblers. I started when I was nine years old. I started one of the things I did when I was in grade school, middle school, high school was a lot of tournament brackets and a lot of sports betting within my school and within my local community. So this time of year has a lot of passion for me as far as helping people avoid the same problems that I had. That's why I'm very passionate about working with youth and them as well. And just working in, in treatment in general is because I've been given this gift of recovery and I want to help others get that as well. Wonderful. What are some of like the signs that that somebody should look out for in themselves if they don't they don't think that they're a problem gambler but might have, be trending towards that direction? What are some of the signs that maybe they might notice in themselves or you might notice in somebody else that you can look out for? Uh, I can give you the long list here, but I'll tell you start with the short list. So I always start with limits and lines. So if you're not able to keep limits, and I say limits, I say limits on time, limits on energy, and limits on money. I say time and energy first before the money because You'll notice the time and the energy. If you're a child whose father's not around, you notice the time. You notice when they're not paying attention. If you're that spouse and you notice that they're not fully connected with you, you're noticing that possibly even before you notice the money. So I always say time, energy, and money as far as the limits go. And then obviously the lies. So anything is problematic if you have to lie about it to family and friends or those you love. So if you're having to lie about the amount you're spending, the time you're spending, anything you're doing as far as your behavior, then that's obviously going to be a sign. We can get into further uh, red flags as far as like if you're chasing losses, if you're just not having fun anymore, if you're borrowing money, you're not able to set those time limits. If you're just doing things that just feel out of control, then that's when we can help. And the great thing about us is that either our 24-hour our helpline at Choices or the Nebraska Problem Gambling Helpline. If you have any questions and you think you might have a problem, just give them a call. It's free and it's confidential. We'll go over those numbers here in a little bit, I'm sure. But I, the big thing is that if you have any questions about it, you or a loved one, if you have a family member you're concerned about, just give us a call. We'll be happy to talk through it and see if you think they might have a problem. It might even be as simple as a little bit of education for both you and for the gambler as well. You know, Mike, uh, a Aaron has a question for you. He goes, do you find that it's not a gambling issue, but a self-medicating issue for deep-seated problems? That's a great question. That, that is a great question. I know for me personally and for a lot of our clients, I had to deal with a lot of trauma in my past that I never even realized I had. And that's part of what treatment is all about, is figuring out some of that trauma and reconciling that trauma. I absolutely did that when I was... I always tell people that when I was hungry, I would gamble. When I was happy, I would gamble. When I was sad, I would gamble. I had to learn how to actually deal with emotions because I never did that in the past. I think it's the same for a lot of substance users as well, too, is that that self-medication part there is that you never learn how to truly be emotionally vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a matter of that was the one behavior that was grooved into my brain that I always went back to mm -hmm. no matter what emotion I felt. Because, I mean, to, to get really deep here, I mean, men in general, I think a lot of times, too, have a hard time expressing their emotions mm -hmm. and being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So we go to different behaviors. We go to different substances and do yeah. things like that so that we can cover up some of that emotion we're feeling. And I, I know for me, 100% that the gambling did that for me. You know, a Aaron, it's a good question. And the listeners know I've been pretty open about my own battle, you know, with, with grief, you know, dealing with my parents, um, cancer deal and, and, and using it, you know, just being gone more, working more. And quite honestly, like I've shared drinking more. And that, that was an issue, you know, and that's why I started seeing a counselor because I realized it was a deeper issue. It wasn't the booze itself or the traveling. No, it was, I did not want to process my dad being gone. I didn't, and I would get pissed if you brought up, hey, do you got a problem? No, you got a problem. I'm good. 
the gambler that says, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's no, everything wasn't fine. I was in a dumpster fire, yep. you know, a dumpster fire. So like you said, it's, a, it's other trauma at times. That's why A.A. Ron's such a good question. And Mike, you uh, really elaborating on that. Some minutes, not all the time, but sometimes it's another deeper issue they're self-medicating with with that activity. I know for me 100%, I think anybody who goes into any sort of treatment or works any sort of recovery plan needs to at least address anything that's happened in the past. Because even if other people don't see it as trauma, it could be trauma in your life. That's the thing about your brain. It's your brain. Yeah. Nobody else can determine how your emotions are and how you react to those. So it no matter what in our treatment at Choices, we definitely look at those root causes and make sure that we're getting to the root cause of the behavior. Before we close up, I got two things I want to share with you first. I mean, just want you to share with us. Um, why don't people seek treatment? A lot of it's stigma. A lot of it is that people think that, so in the DSM-5, the big thick manual mm -hmm. for all the disorders, the psychological disorders, only been 11 years since the problem gambling has been put in there as an actual disorder. Wow. So people still look at problem gambling as, well, it's just a behavior. You can change that behavior. You're not putting a substance in your body. So although the brain activity of a problem gambler looks very similar to the brain activity of a substance yeah. abuser or any other addiction. Yeah. So people, there's still that stigma out there. Plus then you couple it with the money factor. Yeah. Yeah. If you're losing, if you have a second mortgage on your house, if you've lost a college fund, if you've maxed out all your credit cards, uh suicide rates number one are huge amongst mm. problem gamblers because of that reason mm. but also that stigma is just there as well why didn't you do something about right. it uh a lot of times we talk to families and they look at the problem gambling as worse than cheating or worse than other behaviors just yeah. because of that money aspect so there's a lot of stigma still there a lot of right. shame a lot of very intelligent people are problem gamblers it turns out to be too and they think, well, why, why was I so dumb with this? Or why they just beat themselves up so much. Right. And they think that since it's not a substance that they can control it. So it's just a really, I always, I, I, I revel in the fact that I am able to be out there and have my face out there because I like to tell people, Hey, if I went through it and I can overcome it, right. you can too. I just love giving people hope. Mike, your story is always so powerful, man. How do people reach out to you? Because some people may even be scared to call a number. Can they go online? Is there What are the different ways that people can reach out? Okay, so the main way that for choices is we do have that 24-hour helpline, and it's answered by a trained counselor 24-7. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that addiction doesn't work banker's hours, so neither do we. So, and that's for substance use or problem gambling, 402-476-2300. Mm -hmm. We also do have our website, though, and that's uh, choicestreatmentcenter.net. Uh, so that's a great resource as well. And you can ask for services on there as well. Uh, in anywhere in the state of Nebraska, the problem gambling helpline is available 24 seven as well too. That number is one eight, three, three bet over. And so that's a great resource for anybody statewide. So all the calls are free. All the calls are confidential of treatment in the state of Nebraska is absolutely free for problem mm. gamblers and their family members. And it's completely confidential. So those are the two things that we like to express the most is that through the Gambler's Assistance Program, you get free confidential treatment. So if you don't want people to find out yet, that's fine. Let's start the process. We'll help you get there. You bet. Folks, we always enjoy Mike Sharmda being here. And if you want to get in touch with Mike, even come talk with maybe to, to, your, uh, to your team, employees or something like that they can reach out to that way as well yeah the, i do all of that that's most of my job is to work with different organizations uh different a lot of prof, for-profit and non-profit organizations any of that please reach out 402-476-2300 they'll get the message to me if i'm not in the office so folks that's mike chandra of um uh, choices treatment center offices in lincoln and both columbus and folks, I'm going to tell you something. It, it's I love the fact that Mike is very open uh, about his own journey and how he's helping countless others. And Mike, you're helping people you don't even know. Literally, there's 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 people listening to this you'll never meet on this side of eternity. And you're literally changing lives. In fact, I'll say this. Uh, unknown text for 2605 when it comes up here. Come up quick. Come up quick. Come up quick. Rico, can you see that right there? Because of mine, it's like taking a second. What's up? Oh, I got you. Now I got it. He goes, nice segment. Now time to head down Highway 77 to war. Yeah, I need to go to war. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, for those 97 people who can do it responsibly, good for them. Have a great time. For me, I stay away from it. And for those who need the help, the help is available out well, there. The thing about you know your boundaries. Yes. And that's that's the like the oh J.I. Joe show he's back in the day. Knowing is half the battle. Mm -hmm. There you go.
Folks, Mike Chandra from Choices Treatment Center. He gave the contact information to, again, again, it's Choices 24-Hour Helpline, uh, 402-476-2300. It's free and confidential. Nebraska Problem Gambling Helpline, 1-833-BET-OVER is also free and confidential. <laughs> folks, again, big shout-out to Mike Chandra. Thank you so much. We'll be right back, folks, to talk some more to March Madness. 90.7 to take it. We'll be right back. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just the professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Constructors is now hiring for all positions, with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. The Lincoln forecast for today, a few flurries possible this morning. Otherwise, mainly cloudy and breezy today with an afternoon high around 56. Tonight, a chance of showers. Otherwise, mainly cloudy with a low around 39. And tomorrow, decreasing clouds will be breezy too with a high around 52. I'm meteorologist Kyle Cluck with the 93.7 The Ticket and the TicketFM.com. Hey, it's Chad with the Nutrition Authority inviting you to stop in and check out the all-new complete post-workout recovery, CPR. CPR is ideal for anyone who works out or competes and wants to maximize results. CPR can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Stop in today and try a free sample or visit us at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh, that's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and would like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Imagine a healthier, more active, physically fit version of yourself. If you've been putting off getting into shape, now is the time with the Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping 10-Week Challenge. Our program combines kickboxing, strength training, and nutrition coaching to help you achieve your fitness goals. And ticket listeners, you can get $150 off the enrollment fee. The next challenge begins on March 23rd. You can get all the info at fxblincoln.com. Don't wait any longer. Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping at 40th and Yankee Hill and 70th and Bind. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. 
Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. This is Monster Jam. Big Air. Backflips and all out racing. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. The fun begins at the pit party Saturday at 10 30 a.m., where you can meet the drivers, get autographs, take pictures, and see the trucks up close. Pit pass must be accompanied by same day 1 p.m. event ticket. Get your $20 pit party pass at monsterjam.com today. Restrictions may apply. Rules and activities are subject to change. Visit website for event details. Hi, Sean Callahan here of HuskerOnline.com, inviting you to join us here on 93.7 The Ticket every Saturday morning now in our new time. We're on from 8 to 9 with the weekly Husker Online radio show. We'll give you the latest in recruiting. We'll talk about what's going on with both football, basketball, and we'll probably share a few stories from the inside. It's every Saturday morning right here on 93.7 The Ticket. It's the Husker Online radio show from 8 to 9 a.m. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it and stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. Now back to the drive with A.D., Raf, and Amon Green. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Oh, boy. March Madness. It's March Madness. I got to get this read in real quick here. Hour two is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, and custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com. To learn more, Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. Got it. Love it, Raph. Appreciate you, man. Again, a big shout-out to Mike Chandra. Appreciate him coming down from Fleet uh, Choices, uh, helping out, getting that great information on there. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Again, I want to let people know, in about 20 minutes, March Mayhem with 97 to Ticket is going to be live from Buffalo Wings and Rings right there at 60th, 68th and 0. That is from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. tonight and tomorrow. Uh, come watch all the games with us today. The first 64 through the door, we'll get a ping pong ball with the name and team and the tournament on it. If your team ends up in the final four, you'll win prizes like wings and rings, gift cards, and more. Giving away prizes at uh, the top of every hour. We'll read this more again before we get off. But again, that's kicking off in about 19 minutes at Buffalo Wings and Rings on 68th and O. Definitely get down there. Ralph, you look at the games. Actually, I want to get into the, uh, the UNL president first before we get into the games. But you know what? We'll talk about the president tomorrow. Okay, we'll talk about the president. I just want to get down there and get me some breakfast yes. wings. Yes, we'll talk about the president tomorrow. I don't know if they have breakfast wings, but they should. Well, breakfast wings. <laughs> breakfast wings. <laughs> just, hey, it's just, it's just a, you just fry the wing, right? And you just put some maple syrup on top of it. There you go. There's your breakfast wing. Ooh, some oh. peanut butter wings. There you go. No, no. What? Would you, you say peanut, peanut butter wings? Who hurt peanut you? Peanut butter wings. <laughs> Who hurt Who you? Hurt you? <laughs> I've I've never had peanut butter wings before. I got it. I never want to have peanut butter wings. Peanut butter and jelly wings. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> nothing nothing Rat. Is ridiculous. Rat, oh, are you sure man. you're not in Denver? <laughs> you sure you're not in Denver? I mean, it seems like you got the munchies or something, man. <laughs> ridiculous. Peanut butter and jelly wings. Oh, um, I, I, excuse me. That made me sneeze thinking about it. And you I like, took too and I, many. And you I took like, too many shots to the head. And I like peanut butter. I do too. I'm never putting it on a wing. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. 
real quick on the news, I'll say this with uh, the um, the president nomination, I would say, uh, Dr. Jeffrey Gold, uh, he's become their primary candidate and he'll go through the 30-day process. Um, that, that is something good for Nebraska, the whole university. Uh, he's currently um, has been, was the chancellor of the University of Nebraska Medical Center. And one thing I want to talk about, you guys, not today because we need more time on it. I, from what I understand, it's well, just even talking to my brother who uh, works for the University of Nebraska in the business department um, and just from other, other individual, individuals I know. For Nebraska, Rico, I'm sure you know about this, to get back in the AAU. You know, that, that is going to be big to get back in there uh, for, so we can, to all, I think, 18. I'm almost positive. I think 18 of the Big Ten schools are in there with the exception of Nebraska. Ew. We're the only one that is not in that AAU, which is what's a lot of benefits as far as research and sharing those dollars, et cetera. So we'll dive deeper into that, how that impacts a lot of things as a whole university, not just athletics, but as an entire university as a whole. And I think sometimes we forget about this to where um, there's a lot of things that have to happen uh, quickly. And I know there's been some scrutiny. If you look at today's journal, sorry, they were talking about some of the scrutiny that was out there of why, okay, if you knew this going in, this was one of your guys, why didn't you act quicker? Why did we have to wait till we lost an AD to get this in? I'll let the powers that be to decide that because I want to read some more on that because that just came out as I was reading over the break, so I don't want to comment on something I have not thoroughly read on yet to be in the know on that. But it is imperative for Nebraska to get back in that AAU, but it's also it was imperative that we got a goal, as of right now, the president nominee mm -hmm. for the university system. Uh, and, Raph, I would also say this. Um, there were some people asking about, you know, kind of the breakdown of um, uh, Nebraska's Troy Danis' contract. And uh, I'm a good friend, our good friend, Bill Shammer, and a number of other media outlets have added on there. We've put it on there as well. Uh, his base will be $1.6 million. Again, I'm talking about Nebraska's new AD, uh, Troy Dannon. $1.6 million base, a $1 million signing bonus, plus 100,000 increases, 100,000 RK. Uh, not 100,000 increases. That'd be a lot of increases. <laughs> they were giving everything away. $100,000 increases over six-year contract, March 2030. Uh, the interesting on the buyout, buyout is $12.2 million during the first year of a contract. So they kind of, which, make, which, make, which makes you think what, Rico and Raph? Raph, what do you, when you see a $12.2 million buyout, what do you think first? And Rico, I want to get your opinion on that. He's not leaving in six months. <laughs> he's he's not leaving uh nobody's going to unless they really like what he's done going to buy out his contract and take him this is and i believe nick said it yesterday this is a university this is part of a contract of a university that's just like we're tired of change we're tired Bingo. of this happening ability we're gonna put all of this money right here if somebody wants to take you we're gonna get a lot back if you want to leave we're gonna get a lot back and also we're putting this in here so that it's going to make us think twice about letting you go. There you go. And that old, there's, there was always this lyric in a lot of rap songs back in the day. Nobody moves. Nobody gets hurt. Yep. <laughs> so ain't nobody <laughs> moving. Ain't nobody getting hurt financially. Exactly. Because that right there was what a rap goes, oh boy. <laughs> Mind you, the parties on 10, 10 East Street didn't rap. <laughs> nobody moves. Nobody gets hurt. You know, what it shows you, Nebraska says, we're going to protect ourselves. <laughs> David from Renew, you knucklehead. <laughs> Raf, he goes, what does the AAU basketball have to do with the president? <laughs> and I can see DM's face right now. <laughs> Got to get back in the circuit. Got to get back in the circuit. I'm just saying. The basketball but, team's been struggling. We're going to go back. We gonna go back. <laughs> But that $12.2 million definitely makes sure that says, look, so like you mentioned, Rico and Raph, if you're leaving, if you're going to someone that's coming after you, they're going to pay. And they're going to pay handsomely. That's three times the amount of Trez buyout was uh, that we got uh, from uh, Texas A&M. So I, I think that's that's wise of Nebraska, the, brass, the powers that be, that says, you know what, we're not having people poach from us anymore. And if they're going to poach, they're going to pay a major poaching fee. Mm -hmm. Major. And I, you know, quite honestly, I thought it would be higher than that based off him being only at Washington six months. Mm -hmm. People have asked my opinion on a number of times. You know what? My thing is like anything. Wait and see. No one knows what this tenure is going to be like. Yeah. Oh, he was only there for six months. Yeah, that was there. He's here now. I don't know. And think about this. If you're Washington, I'm just saying if I, if I reverse roles, 
I'm only I'm disappointed because of the amount of revolving doors. Mm-hmm. You don't even get to know a guy in six months. No. So it was less about him, more about that's another. We lost our football coach. Now we lost our athletic director who fired our basketball coach. Yep. He was only here six months. He hired what? a football coach. Yes. And you know what? Right now, people in Washington, I'm sure when I'm, I'm I'll get a pretty good gauge when I'm there in a couple of days. Who are they more pissed at? Are they upset with the powers that be? What is going on here that we can't keep our coaches? We can't keep our athletic directors. We, what's going on? Well, I mean, when you think about it this way, in the coaching and the coaching side of things for Washington, like that's that was just a better job. That's like your army, like, I can't repeat that. <laughs> like, Alabama was just a better job. So that's that's you know that one's understandable. Yeah. But the AD being there six months makes the football higher, fires the basketball coach, and then kind of leaves them high and dry with no higher after that. That sucks, and I don't want to – look, I don't know if <laughs> Nebraska, the Nebraska AD job is a better job than the Washington AD job. I can't I can't speak on that. Um, they're both in the Big Ten. He's been going through Big Ten meetings uh, for, uh, for you know, six months now. Um, <laughs> Washington said they were going to join the Big Ten. So uh, he's coming in not being a stranger to the Big Ten and the landscape of things. But if I'm Washington, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm upset, especially because – I don't think you thought this was going to happen because the buyout for him, I believe it was 1.5 million and he had to pay like a $275,000 relocation bonus, which his family didn't even move out to Washington. They were still in Iowa. So he just had that 275. He probably didn't even spend it. He was like, Oh, here you take this back. I guess like it's, it's, it's crazy. And for Washington, I, it sucks, man. That, that, that's got to suck a lot to, to lose your football coach, lose your basketball coach and lose your AD all within a you know couple months span. Mm-hmm. It's Enrico. I, I agree with blame you. Trev Alberts. <laughs> Washington's blaming Trev Alberts. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you know, you guys. I just I, I'm thinking of things with um <clears throat> with Troy Dan. And it, for me, it's 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 a wait and see approach. You know, I would hope that if I got a but the thing about it is there's some who are not going to see. They're going to see want to see results now. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I can't fault. A lot of the fans that feel a certain way, they don't trust him right away. Because think about what happened. To me, Nebraska fans have more have more right to be upset than Washington. I mean, this was a guy that, I mean, he's one of our own. You just didn't see it coming. When I did not see that. I was blindsided by mm-hmm. this. You know, it was someone you thought really wanted to be here. Again, I honestly have, am I disappointed in Trev? Yeah. But I have no ill will towards him. I don't want anything that bad to happen to me. Some of the things yeah. I've seen online, I try to stay away from them thinking, and there's some sick people out there, dude. Yeah, I can't hop on the anger train. Uh, dude, I'm too short. I'm upset. But I'm going to tell you it this. It sucks, but. It, it sucks. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, I said I, I wish to do the best. I'm disappointed in him. He's my Oscar teammate. Always will be. But, hey, that ship has sailed, man. It's time to freaking move on. Toodaloo. Go, yep. go. Hey, deuces. Move on. All aboard the Danning train. Dude. <laughs> Folks, we got one more break. We got RGTZ coming up with you next. And if you are not down on 68th and 0 at Buffalo Wings Rings, you better get going. We're going to get going. We'll be right back. It's the drive. 93.7 a ticket. You can get diesel anywhere. But what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four and a half day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. This is Monster Jam. Big air, backflips, and all-out racing. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. The fun begins at the pit party Saturday at 10.30 a.m. where you can meet the drivers, get autographs, take pictures, and see the trucks up close. Pit pass must be accompanied by same-day 1 p.m. event ticket. Get your $20 pit party pass at monsterjam.com today. Restrictions may apply. Rules and activities are subject to change. Visit website for event details. 
Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it and stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. 24-7 Threat Monitoring expert tech support, streamlined communications. Allo has a solution for that. Protect your business with Allo Business. Comprehensive firewall security, Microsoft Teams voice integrated communications, cybersecurity and IT support managed by experts. From productivity to peace of mind, Allo has a solution for that. Allo means business. Protect your business by visiting allofiber.com forward slash business. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just their professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Drinking and driving causes serious harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. In 2021, 65 people were killed in Nebraska by a car crash involving a drunk driver. Do not drink and drive. By drinking less, you can still be here for your loved ones. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. We believe in treating every client with respect, compassion, and understanding. We know that navigating the legal system is stressful and overwhelming, but Liberty Law Group will carry that burden for you. When you're facing legal issues, make the right call. 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals. That's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Folks, we are back on this March Madness for our last segment. It is time for RGT. Raph, give us something, my man. All right, before I get to the RGT, I got to read that this segment is proudly sponsored by Florio's Italian Restaurant and Grill, just south of Lincoln Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road. Florio's Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. All you have to do is visit florialsne.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. Got it. Love it, brother. All right, everybody, today's Ralph's Good Take goes out to the Rooster Springs Tigers Elementary School. They have their field day today down here in Austin, Texas, or Dripping Springs, Texas, where I'm at. And Ainsley Thomas, the little five-year-old, Nick and Chrissy's daughter, she drew me a picture when I got here, says that she's She's been thinking about me, so I wanted to show the picture, and I wanted to wish um, Rooster Springs and the rest of 
uh, her classmates a great um, field day today as they battle battle in the rain. It's muddy, rainy, but they're mm -hmm. they're persevering. So that's Raph's good take. Raph, I love it, man. Shout out to those youngsters taking care of business there. The 80 Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. ILC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska. Full-time, part-time days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and helping to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at ILC.net backslash careers. Folks, the 80 Attitude Adjustment today is something that my parents would always say to us, and it's something that I've talked a lot with um, my counselor, too, going through my own battles. And my mom would always say, it's okay to fall down. She goes, it's horrible to stay there. It's okay to fall down. She goes, it's horrible to stay there. And she would say it's horrible because you have the choice to get back up. And it's okay if you need help to get back up. In fact, many times you do, folks. When I laid in that hospital bed, all right, literally almost three years ago, uh, this next month, when I found out that I was diagnosed with cancer, Raph will tell you, I was, I was stronger at that point than I was when I was in college. I was lifting weights like crazy. I had no idea that stage three cancer, almost stage three, was growing in my body. And literally the day before my surgery, I was able to work out, lift crazy weight, stupid stuff, whatever you want to call it. Hours later, I couldn't even lift myself out of bed, literally without help. And I was in the hospital pissed. I was mad. And my mom, I remember my mom's words, was no longer with me. My father couldn't even be in the hospital with me because COVID. He wasn't able to come in. And I remember my mom's voice saying, baby boy, it's okay to fall, but don't you dare stay there. And I remember getting pissed because I needed help to get up. And if I didn't get help, I wasn't getting up. That's the bottom line, unless I just rolled my black behind up off the bed. <laughs> and I had needles and all the stuff and, you know, prostate's gone and a catheter. So rolling out would have not have been a good uh, option to do. Folks, it's okay to fall down, regardless of what it is, but don't stay there. And if you need help getting back up, it's like Mike said, there's help out there. You're AD, I, I, I told you, I needed help, and I'm getting help. You can get help, whatever that is, whether it's financial, physical, spiritual, substance abuse, whatever God it is, there's always someone there to help you and talk to you. Don't forget that. Rav, take us home, my man. All right, everybody, I got some breaking news. I hear there's a polar bear sighting down in Kansas City today. Go uh, Nebraska Wrestling, take care of business win a national championship. Everyone else, have a great day and be nice to each other and go Huskers. Nice. is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com on the internet.